Hello and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tailgate Technology Series uh, with the X7 Scanner. I am Scott Reeves, uh, Geospatial Sales out of the Tiger office, along with... Hello, Jared Price uh, with uh, the Tiger office as well, Applied Geospatial Engineer. And uh, we're going to be looking at uh, annotations today in the X7, uh, which are features and points and uh, where they are in your scan versus the real world. Is that correct? Yeah, so uh, in perspective software, uh, which is the, uh, the field software essentially for the X7, um, you can actually, after you do a scan, you can uh, basically select um, essentially a point within the point cloud and create uh, an annotation. In this annotation, um, you can actually, you know, take a photo and attach it to that. And then in the office, um, I'm going to be using Trimble Business Center. It actually creates an observation to that annotation. So today we're going to kind of um, test, you know, we're going to kind of take a deep dive into what these annotations are and how they can benefit you and really how accurate are these annotations. So we're going to do some correlations with some real world coordinates and, and see how how accurate these are. So um, I'm going to, uh, we're in the back of our building here. So again, uh, a lot of our uh, data we take uh, in the front of the building, just because there's more features, it's more exciting. So I will uh, catch up with you in the front of our building. So thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, so I'm back with you, uh, was out back. Of our office and now uh, out in the front got my x7 here uh, so what uh, I want to do is work with the annotations so an annotation so inside perspective or inside terminal business center you can actually inside the scan uh, select you know a point uh, inside the point cloud and create what we call an annotation and this annotation is a, a point or a feature um, it's, it assigns those coordinates to that um, point, and you can also you can take a you know a picture with uh, the camera on the T10, or you know if you have pictures of uh, the features that you want to annotate, the photos can actually be on here, and you, and you can select them from from the library. So I'm going to uh, annotate several features out here after I do the scan. You can do it per station setup, or you can do it. You know, at the end, basically you're just scrolling around in the perspective software and uh, selecting where you want to put an annotation. So my goal is, I'm going to take several. You know, I've got some catch, catch basins out here. I've got some water valves, some hydrants. I'm just going to kind of, you know, pick some various features that I'm going to create annotations on. Um, and that annotation, it actually creates an observation. So similar to like a total station observation. So it has, you know, basically an angle and a distance. So my goal is, and I haven't done this yet, but I want to try this. Um, so I have, you know, several annotations and they're based off of a um, kind of an arbitrary, you know, a zero, 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 X, Y, and Z. If I translate or georeference those into a state plane coordinate system, you know, Number one, are those um, going to transfer to the to the georeference, which I'm assuming that they are because they're tied to an observation. And two, how accurate is that observation? So especially when we're looking at um, you know things like catch basins and manholes, things like that. So could I accurately annotate, take a picture, and then you know from a survey or an engineering workflow, you always have to you know, dip the manhole. Uh, that can be done with either the X summit itself or, you know, old traditional methods uh, with a, you know, a leveling rod, things like that. So do I need to actually come back and as built at least the top of it because I have an observation, I have a coordinate um, and I have a photo um, and then in your, you know, on the post-process side and the engineering software, you know, could you, you know, assign um, inverted elevations to that to that manhole, things like that. So I'm just going to kind of play around with some of these annotations. I'm going to show you kind of the workflow, 
um, and then uh, we're going to look at it inside Toronto Business Center, uh, do the translation into a georeference, and see what we can come up with. So uh, the next time I talk to you guys, I will be uh, in the office with the uh, prospective software. So I will see you then. Thank you. Okay, so we're back in the office with the X7 and uh, the annotations. We're going to start out with some perspective and then uh, kind of move into the Trimble Business Center portion. So before we uh, get going here, uh, inside perspective uh, in Trimble Business Center, let's just kind of take a little bit more of a look at you know what these annotations are uh, with the X7. Uh, they're essentially points of interest within your point cloud or your scans. They can include photos. These can either be taken on site with the T10 uh, or selected from a library. And you can add annotations once a point cloud is uploaded to the perspective software. So if you're at station one, about to move to station two, as soon as the uh, point cloud information from station one get uploaded into perspective, you can start doing annotations while your X7 is, is starting your scan on your, on your second station. Um, and then they include observation data, which I think is very important. Uh, these include an azimuth, a horizontal, and a vertical distance. And these are especially important for any types of transformations for your data. So if you're moving from a, you know, like a 000, which is, you know, essentially what you're getting uh, when you start uh, a new scan on station one, you can transform to, you know, a local datum or, uh, you know, a state plane datum, something like that. Um, and it's going to move with your uh, transformation. And then they show up as points with coordinates inside Trimble Business Center. So this first little snippet I have is the scan observation. Uh, if you look down there at the, the bottom, we have observation and computed data. So there's our, our azimuth, horizontal distance, and vertical distance. Uh, the second one is um, just the photo that I took uh, on site. And this is um, you know, through Windows Explorer inside uh, Trimble Business Center. And then that third uh, is just the point information um, showing that this is a, you know, it's a catch basin, which is that's what I called the actual annotation uh, and then down there you see the grid coordinates um, i georeferenced and i've done a transformation uh, so this also has uh, a latitude and longitude so just a few discussion points um, so point and photo uh, the photo being optional only what about the attributes so attributes can be added uh, you know, for instance, inside Trimble Business Center. Um, so the attributes are not something that you can do uh, while you actually create it in the field, but it's something that you can add uh, at a later time. Uh, can I edit the position of the annotation once I create it? Absolutely. You can move these annotations around if you don't necessarily like uh, where you placed it. Um, you can edit those positions. And can I add annotations in RealWorks uh, and or Trimble Business Center? RealWorks does have an, a, a true annotations um, routine in there, just like you would see in perspective. Trimble Business Center does not, uh, at least currently, I'm using Trimble Business Center version 5.30. Um, there are many other ways to, to create uh, points inside Trimble Business Center, but they do not have uh, a true annotation creation tool yet. And then selecting an individual point cloud point with a finger or a stylus, how accurate is it? Um, this is kind of a big part of what I'm trying to get to the bottom of today. I do know that, you know, selecting an individual point cloud point with a finger or a stylus it can be a little tricky, like if you're trying to get to the top of something like a fire hydrant or something that, that has dimension or 3D, it may be a little difficult to get exactly where, where you want to get. Um, that's just kind of what I've seen 
Um, if you're looking for something like on a flat surface, you know, that's fairly easy to do because there's no dimension to it. But we are going to look and see, you know, how accurate this data is. And then moving on, can I export the annotation uh, as a shapefile uh, from T Trimble Business Center? Yes, absolutely. You can do that. And can I use the annotations for as builds? I put TBD. That's another thing. Uh, when I think as built, uh, I think of something that has to be pretty accurate. So we're kind of kind of mess around with that in Trimble Business Center and see how accurate this data really is. So that's uh, just some general discussion points and some questions that have come up. Okay, so creating the annotations inside perspective, uh, the first thing you want to do is actually select the station that you're going to be creating the annotation from. You can see here I'm on uh, station one. And then you hit this uh, icon, and that's the, the annotation tool. You can then select anywhere um, on the point cloud. You can pinch and squeeze. You can zoom around in 3D, whatever you need to do. You can see here I'm trying to get to the, the tip of that uh, fire hydrant. Um, and you can see it's it's it can be challenging on smaller features and, and something with dimensions to try to get you know exactly to the tip of that. Uh, in this case, the fire hydrant. And once you're good with your uh, position, you can take a photo or choose from our library. Um, if you don't want a photo, you don't have to do that. You can name it, you can put in a description, um, and then you can hit the create annotation. And then you see um, on this other screenshot here, that uh, after I've created it, this is kind of a list of my annotations that I've created already. And this most recent uh, annotation, you can see it's uh, the little blue symbol there, uh, my fire hydrant. Okay, so I have uh, exported uh, everything out of perspective. I have imported into Trimble Business Center. Yeah, this is this is in plan view, just to give you kind of a bird's eye view of what we're dealing with here. Uh, these are my control points that I actually geo-reference uh, this scan to. So this is everything uh, is now in uh, State Plane, Oregon North. And then the blue here, so this is our scan locations. So you see scan one or actually station one station two station three and then station four so i just did essentially four scans uh, these are our scan observations you can see this is a uh, catch patient and then this is the media folder that's associated with it um, this is just a sign so you can see that it, it actually creates that, that physical observation. It's a little easier to see in 3D what we're dealing with here. So you can see this observation, might be a little hard to see, um, it's up off the ground. So it's actually being derived from, you know, essentially the center of the laser. And then, whoops, uh, looking down at this catch basin, it goes right down to the surface, essentially. And then that sign uh, goes to the center of that sign. That's where I was picking. Uh, I've got a fire hydrant in here. Sometimes it's a little hard to see exactly what you're, what you're picking inside perspective. Just kind of want to see if I got, that's essentially where I was picking, um, the front side of the, the top of that that fire hydrant there. So it did a pretty good job. Uh, what this looks like on my project explorer, uh, look at this fire hydrant, the properties here, uh, my computed data. So here's my observation data I'm talking about. We have the, the grid coordinate, the point ID, which actually is the name of the annotation and I put it on its own layer. 
and then we can open oop, not on that screen hold on a second uh, that's the photo I took uh, in the field I essentially geotagged it uh, with the t10 so that's how everything looks in Trimble Business Center my curiosity is um, you know how accurate these annotations are and looking at um, you know in a 3d view it looks pretty accurate I was aiming for the center of that sign or it may have not been the center maybe I was looking for a center of a letter or something but it's right on that that surface so it did did a pretty good job um, and then on this catch basin here I wanted to see, you know, vertically because I, you know, essentially I, I selected the, the center of what I thought was that catch basin uh, inside perspective. And what I did is I created a, a surface of just this catch basin. Um, and I did uh, a point to surface inverse result. Let me pull that up. So from catch basin, which is the point, and that's to my just the little surface that I created. Essentially, the, the elevation is flat on the inverse results. So what that tells me is, um, since it's using you know points from the point cloud, it's essentially right on top. So that's um, that's to me that that's great. And again, this data was all transformed into your reference to my state bank coordinate system. So I'm pretty happy with the results that I got uh, with these annotations. And then I can do what I need to do from here. I can add attributes. I can export as shape files. Um, there's a lot I can do. But when you're looking at this, um, if you've worked with, you know, the our total stations or, or GPS, this could be. A total station observation it could be an rtk vector and then we can you know take a photo and it's essentially right you know that that's our measurement point so um, i'm pretty pretty pleased with the results i think you can do quite a bit with these and they're super easy to do and um, to me they seem relatively or they seem actually really accurate the the one thing i'm um, that's a little bit difficult if I have something small or dimensional it's hard to select um, an exact point so that's probably the only downside so um, I think that's essentially it for this uh, tailgate so uh, I'm going to sign off thank you for joining us for this tailgate technology series from Frontier Precision we hope to see you next time.